everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. AI functions in Microsoft Fabric give us the capability to invoke an LLM with one line of code. Some of the things that we can do previously, you had to tune models, you had to test them, you had to train them, you had to have multiple lines, if not an entire notebook worth of code to perform the same thing we can do in one line. Absolutely amazing stuff. As a matter of fact, if we look at our documentation, we can see that we have specific functions. We can calculate, we can categorize, we can detect sentiment, we can extract entities, fix grammar, summarize text, translate text, answer custom code with user props, and we can get a back massage. I'm just kidding. We can't get a back massage yet. Huh? That's what I want from AI, a really good back massage. I am tense. Okay, enough of this. I don't want to tell you about it. I want to show you a demo of this. Let's get over to that great content. All right, so I'm in Microsoft Fabric and I'm in a notebook that I'm going to run for this. Just like any Copilot, enabled instance, and you can see this is an F64. We need an F64 to be able to run AI functions. I've got to enable some configuration. We've got this option for Spark and for Pandas. I'm going down the Spark route, but you could also go down the Pandas route and it's all in our documentation. Next up, we're loading a couple modules that we're going to use. It's specifying a model, but this is not something we have to preset up in our subscription. And this model may change over time. So it's important to make sure you check the documentation when you're running this. Now that we got this going, here we go. One line of code, calculate similarity with AI similarity. This is AI vectors. You can see we're using a name column, we're creating a data frame, and then we're passing through a value for companies. The reason the company's value is important is even though Bill Gates and Bill Hader are very similar name-wise, if I throw in a company, it's gonna change that a bit. And it's going to be really interesting for us to be able to see how this works out. There we go. We can see that even though their names are much more similar, Bill Gates and Satya from a vectorized search have more in common than Bill Hader and Bill Gates. The reason is because of these com uh, the companies we included. One more line of text for AI classification, doing a classification algorithm. Remember, we don't have these categories, kitchen, bedroom, garage, a little more fabric magic right there. What I've got is I'm able to take reviews and say, does this apply to any of these categories? Uh, duvet loving for a good night's sleep, bedroom, tired of friends judging your baking, Kitchen, uh, enjoy this brand new car, garage. How awesome is it that we can enrich a data set by saying, look at this data, look at this text for these categories to be able to help us understand a way that we could look at this data and how we're storing it, to categorize it. Many capabilities that this offers up. Detect sentiment. Oh, this is one of my favorite ones. This used to be so difficult to do. We used to have to train a model on language, on sentiment, pass part of the data set through, get it back, hook it all together, pass everything through again, look at the scoring to see how accurate it was. All we have to do is say, here's the reviews. Where can we use this? Well, maybe if you got a YouTube channel and you're looking at comments or blogs, or if you got products where people can leave reviews, or if you have an incident table because you might have bad experiences that customers have or things that they need to report and you're trying to figure out what's going on. Imagine if you could not only get the sentiment, but get the categories. Again, tons of stuff that we can do with this. These functions give us the capability to really drill down. And I love it. We get negative, positive, mixed, and neutral. Um, extract entities with AI instruct. What does that mean? Well, we've got text here and I'm going to give it name, profession, and city. And boom, there's some more fabric magic. Now I get these columns back as labels and it parsed this text to be able to find these values. And if there was an error, you can see the description extract error that's at the end of every single one of these data frames that we're creating. So if there was an error, it would show up there helping you understand why you're getting an error for those particular columns. But Jim lives in Arizona, software engineer, works for Microsoft. We got name, profession, and city all from this. Wonderful stuff. Think of how you could use this for your data. Now, fix grammar. I, I kind of laughed at this one at first. Again, one line, super simple. There's our magic. But I, I was thinking, why do we need spell check? Well, what if people are writing things in another language and we translate it and then we need to correct grammar? What if English isn't our first language and we're an international company and we want to understand the comments that people are putting in place who are business experts? 
it's really important for us to be able to clean up this vernacular, have the original text, but also have the corrections. So that way we can use this for the analytical environment we use. She and me go way back. We used to hang every week. I love it that it corrected that. It found the right utilization of the word. Summarization. Okay, so this is a big one. I can't tell you how many times I worked with customers in the past where we had a project to be able to train a model to take documents, read through it, do a summarization of the text, and present that back. I mean, so look, we've got a paragraph for each of these right here, describing Microsoft Fabric, describing Microsoft Teams, and producing a one-sentence summary that I could use to be able to enrich this data set. An analytics platform offers end-to-end -end data processing, transformations and report building, and a user-friendly SaaS experience to turn raw data into actionable insights. That's a wonderful summarization of the paragraph that we had above. Now think of all the different places we could use this. Could be, again, user input text, could be documents, could be HR documents, could be uh, tax documents, could be uh, documents for stock. But all of this gives us the capability to summarize larger text very, very quickly. We were, I was alluding to this earlier, translate with AI. Yeah, I absolutely love this. Now we're using some pretty simple sentences here, but look at this fabric magic. How are we doing today? Oh, come on, stop. So, so. I, I mean, look, this is wonderful stuff. And again, if you've got comments, if you've got language that you need to interpret, and maybe English isn't your first language, or if you have foreign language comments like you get in social media, I'd love to understand what every user is parsing. I could separate things out by language and I could translate that to be able to dive in that for academic research a little bit more. Answer custom user prompts. For this one, we're generating a subject for an email just based off a list of products. And all we had to say was write a short, punchy email subject line for a winter sale. Stay warm with our winter scarves. Stay warm and stylish with our snow pants. Again, how we can enrich this so quickly is amazing. Now, I'm just going to allude to this. I'm going to give you a tease, and then I'm going to take it away. Because what I want to do next, and this is going to be a future video we're going to make, is I'm going to take some data where I've got comments, either from social media or we've got comments from the blog that people have left. And we're going to look at that, and we're going to look at how we can utilize sentiment, we can enrich with classification, how we can find these things and get this data and make it very useful. Okay. Sound off. I really want to hear from you. You know where we want to keep the conversation going down in the comments. Is this useful? Is this helpful? Are you excited about AI functions? Are you using AI functions? Did you not know about this, but now you can't wait to be able to play around with it? I, we would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for joining us on Tales from the Field. As always, be good to one another out there. Bye, everybody. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up.